Hello everyone. Today I would like to demonstrate why uh, you should use Go to build real-time streaming applications. First, uh, we need to explore what are called streaming architectures. Streaming architectures are event-based. They provide an approach for information system design based on events instead of chair state. Event-based design promotes application isolation and focus on communication through fast data flow. That's why streaming architectures are often represented as pipelines, with data even flowing between simple processing components. They are also called reactive architectures, with even being the main driver for processing and your software reacting to those events. Microservices are heavy, uh, uh, heavily using streaming as a way to organize decoupling. Streaming is used as a glue between independent services. Now let's quickly uh, review the traditional design of streaming architectures. First, you have at the core a real-time uh, event broadcast engine. It is generally Apache Kafka, but other tools like RabbitMQ or MQTT server can be used uh, for that purpose. Then you have a processing framework that help publish and receive events. They act as a runtime layer for your service platform. Typically, you write your component in Java, Scala, leveraging Spark, Flink, Akka, Kafka Stream, you name it. The code you write leverages those complex framework and in turn is hard to understand, master and operate. However, most of the time, uh, the processing you're trying to achieve is quite obvious and your code should be much simpler. So there is a better approach. And with Go, you can build component and services that are lightweight and cloud native friendly. The cloud native way uh, split your system into Go standalone console application connected to Kafka using the excellent Sarama client library. On top of Sarama, cluster library can then be used to make uh, your Go Kafka client scale horizontally thanks to Kafka consumer group support. Regarding the message for Mana, Protobuf is a great choice. Uh, Protobuf, buff, uh, Protobuf support is excellent in Go, and it is the right balance between uh, being compact and uh, robust. As an option, you can uh, use other central uh, data bus to replace Kafka, like NATS, for example, which is a native Go application, application itself. And finally, we need packaging. The resulting code can be cross-compiled and packaged in a minimal Docker container, and you can manage your apps with Kubernetes. When deployed with Kubernetes, this Go streaming application can scale horizontally by simply adjusting the replication factor for each service. You can then replace Spark, for example, with Kubernetes, and thus use a standard and familiar uh, way uh, to deploy your application and to manage it. And the benefits are well worth it. You get simple and manageable component, starting from a hundred lines of code uh, to process your events. You get performance. Go is extremely fast, and uh, it can process thousands of messages per second per worker. And finally, you get scalability. The resulting Docker app can be scaled up to the number of partitions in your Kafka topics. Moreover, Workers for the same partition can uh, use Go concurrency to process the received event in parallel. So the bottleneck will not be your Go code, but will be your other component, like Kafka or the database itself. So as a conclusion, uh, Go is a model to modern tool to build cloud-native, high-performance, real-time streaming application. And if you write uh, this kind of application, you should definitely give it a, a try. Thank you very much.